is a Rogers Sports presentation. Welcome to OHL Primetime and this exciting Major Junior A hockey game coming to you on Rogers Television from the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium Complex. This is a real battle royal in the Midwest Division between the Brampton Battalion and the Kitchener Rangers. Hi everyone, I'm Dave McClelland. We welcome all of our viewers to this game, but especially those of you joining us from the Brampton area. Tonight we expect a real battle royal, as I said. Battalion are in here on a six game unbeaten streak and of course the Kitchener Rangers are out to avenge their 4-3 loss to the same battalion last Sunday afternoon. For their thoughts on tonight's game, let's go over and join Terry Mercury and Roger Wardell. The, the Mary Johnston Public School singing our national anthem and just before that a special ceremony for Remembrance Day and of course with the uh, events going on in the world right now even extra extra special meaning to Remembrance Day this Absolutely. year. Absolutely. We get the starting goaltender for the Brampton Battalion. That's Brad Topping. 11 games played, goals against of 40, and a save percentage of 0 .893. Goals against average of 3.57. Brad from the town of Strathroy, and Scott Dickey, of course, big surprise there for the Kitchener Rangers. So, uh, excuse me, <laughs> in, in 17 games, we've got nine wins, four losses, goals against average of 2.43, and a save percentage of 0 .916. That's the starting, starting goaltenders. Referee for tonight, Pat Smola on the line will be Mark Shuchuk and Ian Smith. And Terry, the Brampton Battalion scratches for tonight. Just a couple of them, Ted That's Perry. Ted Perry and Tyler Harrison. Scratches for the Kitchener Rangers tonight. Defenseman Derek Schultz, Gary Klopkowski, and of course Steve Eminger with that 24-hour flu, as we mentioned is the motive behind uh, you know why he skipped the summer conditioning camp and, and I think if you sit down with Steven you know he's a mature young man and his goals were to make the NHL he was receiving some pressure to put on some weight from the NHL team here come the Rangers Kanko up. shooting and you just know, rips I, it wide I, of the net Peter DeBoer talks about Steven Weiss and here come the battalion right back the other way TJ Eason yeah Kitchener Ranger player that's been drafted by an NHL club the battalion have Five players on the roster, and look at the giveaway by Dickey out front for Henrik, and Dickey gets back in there with the right pad. <laughs> oh. It's one of those things where you figured I better, because I, <laughs> I caused the goof. He bailed himself out. Exactly. Squirts into the corner. Derek Roy, nifty little pass for Robinson. He gets it out front. There's a shot by Camille Kreps, and Dickey had to make the save. The Rangers, two on one. It's Ramsey with Suez. Ramsey shoots, and Topping makes a big save. Staying square to the shooter. Yeah. The two top units remain out there. Roy, Ramsey, and Suez. That's McSwain, Henrik, and Clayton. This time, Ramsey is taken down with a it's, stiff it's a right call. hand. It's a good call. It's a good call. By Grant Buckley. That'll yeah. leave a bitter taste in your mouth. Yeah. For Richards, he has to be careful. They're getting a little lackadaisical yeah, exactly. with the puck. Five seconds to go. Absolutely. McSwain will have to get a shot away here quickly. McSwain winds, shoots. Dickey makes the save just before the siren sounds. Pretty. That, yeah, that was not a particularly good power play by the Kitchener Rangers. They were having trouble handling the puck, and they weren't getting their shots away. Control, but there is a poor clearing attempt from Marcus Smith. It's kept in by Savage. Puts it out front. Van Lusen and McSwain there. This is Henrik putting it out front on the goal line. They score! Dickey on the second effort, which is he didn't give that extra exactly, try. Exactly, exactly. Marcus Smith is about to clear the puck. It squirts underneath Scott Dickey, heading towards the net. Marcus Smith is about to dump it out because he's right there. Dickey reaching back for the puck, hits the puck, and knocks it the rest of the way back in. Just a, an unfortunate goal for the, uh, for the Kitchener Rangers. Take a look here. You'll see right on the end now. You'll see the puck on its way in, and Marcus Smith about to save it. Now watch. It squirts underneath Dickey right here on the shot. It squirts underneath Dickey. Now Marcus, Marcus Smith and Dickey with the <laughs> stick reaches back yeah. and smacks it the rest of the way into the net. Marcus Smith had pulled it out. Here comes Chad Robinson on his 
Off wing, puts it out front. The puck is sitting there. This time it's scooped free. The shot from Lobies. High over the net. Nowski joining him instead of Bill Kinkle. This time, Keith walking out. He shoots, topping, stacks the pads, makes the save. The puck is still loose. It squirts into the corner. It's Keith picking it up. Back to the blue line. Eason, his shot, a weak one, deflected. At the blue line, Woods keeps it in momentarily and just offside. Absolutely, absolutely. It'll be Ryan Bonus. Takes a bit of a late hit and he's not happy about Bonus it. Bonus not pleased about that. I believe that was Harrison gave him that shot along the boards. Bonus wasn't pleased about it. Puts it back into the corner. Adam Henrik bumping for it. Nick Policelli getting no help there. Two battalion players on the puck. It's five on five hockey, and they score! Brampton is up two to nothing boy, on the goal. Oh boy. A nice one by Another Adam one. Henrik. Adam Henrik burning him again. Allowed to come out of the corner and cruise right in front of the net with nobody touching him. Picked up a loose puck, a rebound off of Scott Dickey and deposited behind the goaltender. Boy, when you see this replay, you'll see, Kurt, you'll see Adam Henrik come out of the corner untouched in front of the net. Nobody got close to him. Take a look here. Now there's the shot. Now there's the rebound. Look at Henrik. Oh, in fact, there's two Brampton Battalion players in front of the Ranger net, untouched. Boy, you'll pay the price if you keep on letting that happen. His speed, but he saw big Chad Robinson coming up. That's Brampton's first round pick, and there's Policelli with a big hit boy, on oh Brent boy. Hughes. He, he nailed Hughes. Hughes got caught with his head down along the boards. Puck, a little lackadaisical, giving it away, a two-on-one flash. He has Savage with him. Flash, faking, and oh, a nice play, nice by, the play by Brad, Brad, Brad Woods. Woods. And here comes Kitchener, Benoit with Kanko. Benoit shoots. That one just wide. The rebound comes out front. The net stays on its moorings as a couple of players <laughs> crashed into it as now the Brampton Battalion are back to full strength and icing will be called. Yeah, that was, that, was the best, uh, that was the best offensive chance for that power play by the Rangers there. I mean, we do it. They me, always deserve the criticism. Tell me, a fish, tell me an official that doesn't get it. <laughs> Here's Kanko all alone. Benoit picks it up. Oh, my goodness. Topping, I think, got his skate What a skate on stuff by, oh. Brad, by Brad Topping. Topping has been playing his tops tonight. You know what you have to worry about? You have to start to worry about it getting into the Kitchener Ranger forwards' heads. They have to, they, you, you know, you start hesitating because you start wondering about if you can actually make a stop. Watch this stop. Kanko loses it at the last second, but Benoit is right there. She get it, and there's right <laughs> off the skate. Yeah. He makes the stop. Toppy makes the stop right off the skate. Boy, oh boy. In the far corner. Racing after it is Brent Hughes. But the Rangers come up with it, led by Derek Roy. He's tripped up, gets it to Sveds. He shoots, and he rings it off the goal post, and a penalty is coming up to the Brampton Battalion. As the Rangers come to life here on the third. And he slides it into the, into the boards. You've got to shoot the puck. He shoots it this time, just wide on the rebound. Keith puts it off the side of the goal. The whistle sounds, and the gloves come off in behind the net. Keith dropping the gloves. It's Keith for the range. I'm trying to see the Brampton Battalion player. E.J. Eason to get back and rub him out of the play. Jeff Wes leads it for the Rangers. Roy winds. He shoots. He scores. Derek Roy. That's a two-one that's... hockey game. Boy, is that a big goal! That's a huge goal for the Rangers. They needed something to show that they could beat Brad Topping. And Topping is not happy with that. He's skating back and forth. I think he knows he should have had that shot. He wasn't screened. He just simply fanned on it. Well, he might have been screened a bit, but I think he saw it. I think he just simply, he simply whiffed on it. Policelli looking for someone to get it to with 30 seconds to go. Two to one, the Brampton Battalion leading the Kitchener Rangers. Here's an opportunity, Jeff Suez. Chasing after the puck. Tries to put it out front for Ramsey. He can. It's blocked. Big Jay Harrison has a puck pin against the board. It's Doug Free. And McClement will come up with it as Brad Topping goes flying in the Brampton net. And there's on Savage. Icing this one into the empty net. The newest Brampton battalion says goodbye, Kitchener. It was fun. Absolutely.
Goaltender Brad Topping picks up an assist on that last goal. And that's all she wrote. So it's Savage at 19-15, or 19-50. That makes it 3-1, to one, and that's how this game ends. The Kitchener Rangers, just like last weekend, they found themselves down. They tried to fight back with the Brampton net mining last week. It was Biasucci this week, Brad yep. Topping just But you know, you know what was scary, Roger, is that they had more jump trying to fight back last week after three games in two and a half days than they showed here tonight. They, the Rangers were not good tonight. They looked very lethargic in the second and the third period, could get no real offense going on a sustained basis, and really didn't look terribly interested. Now, whether they were looking past this game to, to Plymouth, I don't know, but boy, they did not look good. Take a look at the first goal of the game for the for the Brampton Battalion. One of those unfortunate moves where Marcus Smith is trying to keep the puck out of the net. Scott Dickey whipping a sticker on trying to do the same thing. Hits the puck and knocks it in, and that's 1-0 for the Brampton Battalion in the first period. Adam Henrik got the second goal by Adam Henrik also. Allowed to come up from behind the net also in the first period. Deposited a, a, a rebound off of a point shot right past Scott Dickey, and it's 2-0 for the Brampton Battalion. Kitchener makes it 2-1 early in the second, or excuse me, midway through Oh, here's the save of the night off of Andre Benoit, Brad Topping, Benoit's trying to put it upstairs, Topping lifts up the pad on and just gets the skate on it and keeps the puck out of the net. And at that point, that would have made a 2-1, to one, but at that point, really, that, that sort of told you what kind of game that Brad Topping was having on the night anyway. And then, of course, we've got the Kitchener goal, that's, I believe, no, it's a setup for, it's an, an opportunity by the Kitchener Rangers that doesn't, that ends up hitting the post by Jeff Suez. We take a look at the three stars. It's Adam Henrik, the second star. Two goals on the night, quite deservedly so. Could we see Strathroy native Brad Topping? <laughs> I don't see why not. Played a great game. Saves and an Played assist. a great game. There you go. There we go. Why not? The guy, the guy stopped 45 shots. Now, Kitchener Ranger was named the third star. I'm not sure who that was. He did not come out to uh, accept his prize. Not, not, uh, not too many people feeling too good in the... Uh, take a look at the only Kitchener goal of the night. Derek Roy at 7.18 of the third period. Fires a great shot past Brad Topping. Topping feeling that he should have had it, though. It's Derek with his ninth goal of the season. Then here's the clincher. McClement over to Sebastian Savage into the empty net. Goaltender... Brad Topping picking up an assist on that. So not only did uh, Brad stop him, he helped set him up too. So it was just an all-around night for, for Brad Topping. A good game for the Brampton Battalion on the road. They have to like their two new guns. Sebastian Savage with that empty net goal. And Grant Buckley looks like he's going to be a real force in the blue line, a real agitator, in-your-face type of defenseman. It is the Brampton Battalion over the Kitchener Rangers by a final 3-1 to one here tonight at the Dom Cordillo Arena. We'll take a break and be back with more right after this. You're watching... OHL Primetime on Rogers Television. 